Have you guys ever heard of the biggest Pokemon MMO to essentially see the light of day? Now, a lot of you might be thinking, oh, there's Poke MMO, there's Poke Revolution Online, but no, I'm talking about something completely different. I'm talking about a 3D Pokemon MMO with gym leaders, Pokemon you could catch, uh, walking around with your friends, having battles, trading, and yeah, it also just happens to be on the Roblox platform. And if you guys are thinking Brett Bronze, you guys will be correct. But we're not here to talk about Brett Bronze. We're here to talk about the game that was essentially supposed to be the successor of Brick Bronze that ended up causing a lot of controversy and changing things as well. But uh, that ended up being Pokemon Metal Malachite, which is now in a very interesting set of, you know, kind of development. And uh, a lot has changed with the game. And we're going to show today exactly what exactly was Pokemon Metal Malachite and what's moving on forward with it, because the project has now changed. And uh, I'm going to be explaining all that in this video. So if you guys really enjoyed this video, remember to go ahead, smash that subscribe button, and smash that like button, because today we're going to be going over uh, the Pokemon MO that really just never got to see the light of day. And without said, that further said, let's go ahead and get right onto the video. But I am going to wait for you guys to smash the subscribe button. Hit it now. Just, just go ahead and do it. I make content like this all the time. You you, you guys will love it. Okay. Yeah, you pressed it? You pressed it, right? You, you pressed it? Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, let's move on. So, what exactly was Pokemon Metal Malachite? Well, Pokemon Metal Malachite was a 3D sort of open area, really free roam, uh... Pokemon MMO that was made in the Roblox engine. It was using a lot of originally Pokemon Brick Bronze assets, but it added a lot to the game, like Pokemon in the Overworld, completely brand new regional forms, a completely brand new region in itself that looks incredible. And also was just adding a lot of new characters and story that was really going to change up everything that we had ever known about Pokemon MMOs at this point. Now, this game has not been able to see the light of day and will not be able to see the light of day and i'm going to be explaining a lot of what that is um in a second but before we go ahead and do that i want to go ahead and separate this video off into two parts i want to set this off into the bad parts which kind of led to the downfall and the reason why this isn't going to be able to happen i think it's best if we go ahead and explain that from the get-go and then we're going to be talking about the pros obviously which is going to be the reason like what's going forward with the project how's everything going to be going forward so yeah we're going to go ahead here and just take a quick look at that so Essentially, Pokemon Metal Malachite was a Pokemon fan game that was being developed uh, using originally Pokemon Brick Bronze and Lumion Legacy aspect or assets. It was supposed to be essentially its successor, the next Pokemon huge game that would be on the Roblox platform that would bring in you know thousands of people to come play it because of just how good this MMO truly was. And it just ended up not being that. A lot of the time... A lot. Of, the more the game got shown off, uh, the game continued to improve, but the community and everyone who had mindsets on this game had a lot to say about it, and that's mostly because of the downfall of Pokemon Brick Bronze. Now, if you guys do not know, Pokemon Brick Bronze was the original Pokemon fan game that kind of took the world by storm. There was ones before it, like Project Pokemon and Pokemon Fighters and things like that, but those weren't as popular and definitely weren't as fluent in the community as Pokemon Brick Bronze was. It was kind of known as the default Pokemon Roblox game. If you were to go to play any Roblox game, you would just go play Brick Bronze. There really wasn't a point in playing Project Pokemon. There wasn't a point in playing uh, Fighters or anything like that because just Brick Bronze kind of fit that niche. It was kind of the perfect Pokemon MMO on the platform. But then it got taken down by Nintendo. DMCA strike in the game was taken down and it is now uh, eventually became the game known as Lumion Legacy which is uh, it's entirely own game it's a fake Emon game a monster catching game obviously that is on the Roblox platform and probably is one of if not the biggest uh, monster catching uh, game that is on the platform currently besides Doodle World now obviously we have other games that are also in development alongside those that are going to be coming out that are other monster catching games such as Fairlight Kingdom and such but for right now, Lumion Legacy and Doodle World are kind of the only two that have been holding down the spot. And that was until Metal Malachite came into the scene. It was originally using some assets from Brick Bronze and obviously, you know, Lumion Legacy. And it was essentially going to be the successor, the, the next thing up for the Pokemon Legacy on, the Ro on Roblox. But, of course, people had their gripes with this. And, of course, the developers had their gripes with this because essentially they were stealing other people's code. They were using things that really they weren't even supposed to be allowed to use or be able to look at. 
and the game really didn't seem like it was heading in a right direction. A lot of people judged the game also because it was a Pokemon fan game trying to be set up on Roblox, which comes from the fact that after Brick Bronze had gotten DMCA'd, that every single essential Pokemon fan game that was left on the platform also got DMCA'd, which leads essentially to what happened in this project, why it never really got off the ground, and what it's essentially becoming, and why it will no longer exactly exist. So... Every single Pokemon game after Brick Bronze was eventually wiped from the system. Now, if you guys actually go ahead, type in here Pokemon into your Roblox platform, you might have a few games that come up. Most of them are going to be Brick Bronze clones, Project Pokemon clones, things like that. Clones of the game that people were able to get their hands on that they re-uploaded, that get taken down within a day, and are mostly scams just to be able to get a quick few Robux. Uh, that's really what they are. And if you guys actually check this, if you go type up Pokemon, search it up, you'll probably have like three or four of these po these type of games pop up. Give it about maybe two to three days. If you come back and check, most of the time they are gone. They are completely off of the platform. They are no longer there, which was my personal biggest gripe. Pokemon cannot exist on the Roblox platform. This is the main reason on why this game died. The main reason why this game didn't even have a chance at life was because it was a Pokemon fan game. And I hate the fact that we have to live Live through this i hate the fact that he has to do that because you guys are obviously watching the gameplay of what the game looked like you guys can see for yourself just how amazing in the background this game truly looked and how amazing it could have been but yes obviously nintendo pokemon game freak none of them are okay with you know you obviously using their assets and they are extremely 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 tight about it on the roblox platform if this was any other fan game its own mmo and its own engine something like that it would have potentially been able to survive for a few years on end without probably being even noticed by Nintendo. Uh, the same way that other ones have, such as Pokemon, Pokemon Revolution Online, things like that. But no, with this being on the Roblox platform, it was doomed to die from day one. Because either one, the game is going to be able to strive for a few months and be successful and then eventually get deleted. Or two, it was going to get deleted a few days, potentially even a few hours after launch because of probably how many people are trying to actually play the game. So, yeah, no, that from the start, as soon as they added Pokemon to the logo, they added Pokemon in the game, everything else, it, it was set in stone that this game was going to fail. I know a lot of people said they were going to use alternate servers, or we're going to have server codes in the Discord, which the Discord link is going to be in the description, um, if you guys do want to keep checking out this game, check out the community and see what it's like, but, um... Yeah, no, this game was not going to be able to survive because it was on the Roblox platform. Pokemon cannot survive on the current Roblox platform. It gets taken out way too fast, they get fined out way too fast, and it just isn't going to be profitable. The dev team would have spent years of their life eventually completely wasted just because they spent years of their life on a game people probably wouldn't be able to finish as well as only be able to play for one who knows a few hours potentially even a few months and then it would just get deleted you would lose all your progress you would lose all your time you weren't essentially putting it into anything so that was realistically the main thing that kept this game from even remotely coming out of the shine hole but in all spiteness, you know, in, in all in all of the treachery that the game had to go through, this wasn't even the biggest problem for the developers originally. They did say, though, uh, they were going to try to stand up Nintendo, which was a complete lie, by the way, because they literally said if Nintendo ceased and assisted them, they would just make it a Fakemon game anyway. But they, they wanted to do it, and they wanted to keep doing the project, and they were going to do it on private servers, and everything was going to be fine, right? Well, that was until they essentially got into beef with other monster catching games that were on the platform um one of the really higher up people that was on part of the game ended up starting some beef with the fairlight kingdom community and that ended up having a falling out in there and that had some you know issues on twitter and then a lot of popular roblox youtubers were brought into it and then you know some other stuff like that happened as well as also just the rest of the monster catching community on roblox was also really looking down on this game because it was pokemon uh many of the devs accused them of stealing the designs of other fakemon and, and things like that and then for them to do that while also making a Pokemon fan game, which is technically directly stealing from Game Freak, Pokemon Company, and Nintendo, uh, it wasn't really a good look. So the game already had a really rough start to begin with. Uh, a lot of people really thought that this game, who that was in the Roblox community, thought that this game wasn't going to last long, obviously because of the, you know, the DMCA strikes that I was talking about earlier, but also just because... The game just was Pokemon. Like they didn't think that it was going to last. Obviously, it drew in such a huge uh, audience because it was Pokemon. But we all knew who actually play on the Roblox platform that yeah, this game was not going to be able to survive that at all. But moving forward, um, a lot of time passed. The game was still supposedly in development. Things were still happening, and now officially with the game, 
the game has hit a sort of legal standby. They've had some legal issues. They've talked over the team and they've decided to completely change the game. And now the game forever shall be known as the Tales of Tenorio. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but it is Tales of Tenorio. That is the completely brand new game. It will be a 100% fake Emon game that you guys can still check out. Um, it will still use the same region layout. It will just have a lot of the Pokemon assets removed and replaced with fake Emon stuff. And yeah, it's still going to be beautiful. It's still going to be an amazing monster catching game. And I'm genuinely really, 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 really excited to see it play. And I can't see, like, I can't wait to see just how the monster catch community uh, obviously replies to it, you know, and obviously it's competition with Lumion Legacy and Doodle World and how how well it's going to do and how the developers continue to make this game grow. But you guys want to know more about Pokemon Metal Malachi, so I kind of went over there the the negatives, right, or, or kind of or kind of the things that led to the downfall of this game that was definitely going to make it not survive on the platform anyway. But one thing I want to talk about is the positives. I want to go ahead here and talk about the positives of this game coming a fake Emon game. Now, the devs can actually make money. They can actually, you know, add in customizable options such as, you know, cosmetics, which are whether it be mounts or extra clothes items or things like that you can pay with Robux. So they can actually make a profit. So they're actually going to be able to make money and actually have the time that they put into the game be able to you know, give back to them. And the devs have already said they're not going to make the game pay to win. They're not going to add a roulette. It's still going to be fair, but they can actually add cosmetic items that are, you know, actually worth a value. So the game is going to actually be able to support its devs and the devs will be able to come out with nice updates for people to play. And the game should be completely free to play, no pay to win, nothing like that. And you should be able to have an amazing monster catching game while also having an amazing uh, you know, chance for the developers because they can actually make a living off of this game, unlike they could like they couldn't do because they were using the Pokemon license. They they couldn't be paid by themselves. Um, another positive is just straight up creativity. Um, overall, a Pokemon fan game wouldn't have lasted long on the um it wouldn't last long on the site. It wouldn't have lasted long on on, on Roblox at all. It would have been taken down. So now we can have this game for years. You can play this game whenever you want, how you want. You know, no legal issues are going to be holding this game back. They don't have to worry about getting sued. They don't have to worry about a takedown because none of that is ever going to happen. You can have your save file and you never have to worry about potentially that save file being taken away from you unless the devs decide to close the game, which I think is is the perfect way to do the game. I wanted this from the beginning. I went ahead here and I went ahead and left a comment on it. On the original Direct, I, I begged them to please just make the game full of Fakemon because they were already putting Fakemon in the game. There was no reason for the game, them to risk the game being Pokemon, especially on the Roblox platform. So I'm, I'm glad in the end that this change did happen. And those are really the pros. The, the fact that the devs are going to actually be able to get paid, their work is actually going to pay off. And at the end, we're still getting an amazing monster catching game. It's just not going to be a Pokemon monster catching game or MMO, to be precise. So... Yeah, overall, I still think this is a great chance for this game to move forward. I think the things that I'm going to miss the most about, and I really do hope that the devs take this to heart, is the fact that we wouldn't actually be able to see what this game was. Um, I would love personally to get my hands on, like a really early test build just to see how like the Pokemon and everything else would work and to show that off to you guys. It would be amazing, but... Um, I think the thing that's going to hurt the most is the fact we never get to see what this game was like as a Pokemon game because obviously the region is going to be very similar. Things are going to be very similar. A lot of the uh, different regional forms are going to probably end up becoming their own Fakemon uh, once they get kind of, you know, re reimagined. And so when all that happens, we're not going to be able to see what this game was originally intended to be. I think that's the biggest waste of potential and time that has happened so far in the game because at least with brick bronze we'll always know what brick bronze was because brick bronze got released we were able to play brick bronze there was still copies of brick bronze so you still had a you know way to actually get onto that game and actually be able to play it with this game we've never got this game in our hands we've never had anything else the testers have shown obviously the areas for the direct but they didn't show anything else they didn't show actual gameplay they didn't show actually you playing through the story or anything like that and of course yes it would still be spoilers because yes the game is coming out it's just not going to have pokemon in it but i would still love to see a lot of the more pokemon theme areas a lot of the combat how things worked um essentially the game itself to make sure that this game is actually going to be real which is going to be extremely 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 interesting so beyond that i had to say that would definitely the first kind of missed opportunity was just the fact that we never actually got to play this game ourselves and then obviously the second missed opportunity is the fact of 
simply we just lost another Pokemon fan game because Nintendo and the Game Freak and everything else are not cool about copyright. It is the law. It is their intellectual property. But at the end of the day, we really do still want amazing fan games. We still want other projects that we can wait for and play during, you know, waits in between, you know, games such as Scarlet and Violet coming out and things like that. And other things that we could do within the community. I think though that that right there is probably the biggest potential waste uh, that there is that this game had so much promise and we'll just never ever get to see it just because simply it was Pokemon and it's always going to be like that for simply almost dang near any Pokemon whether it be an MMO or a normal fan game uh, that comes to mind that's really it though that that, that really is that um, this is gonna be a little bit of a faster video um, but yeah no that is the fall or essentially I guess you could say the rise of uh, the Pokemon MMO we never even got our hands on uh, that's a real shame because the game looked amazing and I definitely couldn't I couldn't wait to play it but now uh, we're looking forward to something new a completely brand new game completely brand new story completely brand new mons and uh, a whole lot of fun that is bring um, into the community now uh, before we go I do want to go ahead and specify just one more thing and that is about the community I am going to be leaving a link to the discord down below I would highly suggest that you all join it and support this game for being a fakemon game I've recently seen that a lot of the people within the community have either been leaving the discord server or have been complaining in the chat that the fact that this isn't a Pokemon game and even under my own comment that I wrote telling them um, or asking them per se on the most recent uh, Pokemon Metal Malachite Direct that they should make this a fully fakemon game so they can monetize it people said that they would not play this because if it was um a fakemon game because it's not pokemon no one wants to play a cringe pokemon game that's exactly what this person said to me and to me this just proves to be fake fans this just seems to be fake fans of not only the monster catching genre that probably don't even know the monster catching genre exists and sees every other monster catching game that isn't pokemon as a pokemon knockoff which just is not true um as well as just people who, who are held back by nostalgia. We, we really don't need you in the community because half the time, these people wouldn't have even played the game, wouldn't have even looked at the game, or even thought about the game without it being in Pokemon. To be fair, most people, if you were going to make a Roblox account and play Roblox just for this, I don't think that would be worth it in the end. Nothing about that would be worth it. Now we actually have the Roblox community, the people who want to stay, actually come and play this game, improve the game, and see it and see it grow into a new light and i think that's what is the best because the pokemon shell of the community and the fanboys that'd be like i'm not gonna play this because no pokemon that proves you had no interest in this game to begin with because this game is still as beautiful as it was when you saw the first trailer it's still probably gonna have a bunch of new features it's still gonna have an amazing roster of brand new fakemon but you're not even giving it a chance because now pokemon has been taken away from it because your nostalgia or your love or your passion or whatever for just that one intellectual ip is completely is completely stuck on just Pokemon and it's it's genuinely a shame because you're actually taking an amazing game and completely giving up on it just because there's no Pokemon in it and for people who are like this you need to grow up please grow up and try other things get outside do something because we could do more than Pokemon. I love Pokemon MMOs. As you guys can see on my channel, one of my largest videos on my channel is going over the top 10 Pokemon MMOs that you guys could play uh, in 2020, I believe, through 2021. And that still holds up to this day through 2022 and 2023. You can still go back. You can still play all of the MMOs that were on that list. And you can still have fun. So if you want to play a Pokemon MMO, easily just go check out that video. And then obviously, you know, go drop those links, go play those games and have a lot of fun if you genuinely wanted to just play a Pokemon experience. But for those who are actually excited about this game just for it being another Monster Catch, game on the roblox platform please join the discord please go ahead show the developers some support they're going to need it um as well as just also the release date uh fortunately this game uh pokemon malachite was originally supposed to essentially drop beta in summer which was coming up pretty soon and then it was going to release i believe the full game for free um and with i believe two gems uh, for everyone at the end of 2023 um or 2022 sorry or early 2023 now that is essentially not the case i believe uh, i believe the development of this game has been pushed back by a lot most likely going to be where the game releases for everybody in mid 2023 to late 2023 early 2024 if i believe correctly but we will be getting a trailer for the game in full in uh the summertime from what has been specified so that could be around like the august time i'm most likely assuming august september time i think that'd be probably like the perfect time of when we're going to see it because I don't believe we're going to see it in July. But uh, yeah, no, so it, it's definitely a lot to take in. It's definitely a lot uh, that's going to be there. But 
yeah, just uh, it, it, it's just crazy. It really is crazy to see just how far that this MMO came because I was originally going to make a video on it and now I can't even do that because it's no longer a Pokemon MMO. It's its own thing. So uh, yeah, uh, links down in the description, join the Discord, go ahead and do that, you guys. Remember, subscribe to the channel, we are on the road to 1k, I love you guys, I love all the support you guys put on my videos, and I really hope that I can see you guys on the next ones as well. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me, hope you all really enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.